Hey everyone, I'm Corey. Welcome to my channel, This and That. Today, I am sharing with you $5 budget meals. I'll be sharing a total of four meals with you that are multiple servings for $20. With the way the economy is these days and a lot of people forced to really budget, I thought it would be a great idea to share a couple of meals that you could make for $5 a piece. So the ingredients that I purchased for these meals came from both Aldi's and Walmart. I originally planned to purchase all of the food from Walmart because I know a lot of people have at least a Walmart around them. But unfortunately, between the time of researching the ingredients for my recipes and buying the ingredients, the prices did go up slightly. So I did buy a few products at Aldi's because they were a great price, but you can still keep pretty close to budget if you shop at Walmart. Don't buy the name brands and you buy the Walmart brands. So let's get cooking. Our first meal is this cheesy chicken broccoli mac and cheese casserole, which uses five ingredients plus milk for $3.88. Add six cups of water to a pan, boil, and add the pasta for the mac and cheese. You'll be making this per the package instructions. Shred one cup of a block of cheese of your choice and set aside. We'll be using five to six ounces or half of this can of chicken. Add to your pan and chop the chicken into smaller pieces. Next, we'll add one 10 and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup, as well as half of a cup of milk, stirring everything together really well. To your pan, add six ounces or half of your 12 ounce bag of frozen broccoli. It's okay if your pieces are large like these because we'll make them smaller when they soften in the pan. Spray nonstick spray into a two quart casserole dish and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Add milk and the cheese packet to your pasta to make your mac and cheese. Here I've cut the broccoli into smaller, more bite-sized pieces. The cook time for the chicken soup, milk, and broccoli is about eight minutes in the pan. Add your mac and cheese into your casserole dish and then add your chicken soup and broccoli mixture. Make sure to stir everything together really well once everything has been added. Sprinkle one cup of shredded cheese onto the top of the entire dish. You'll bake this for 10 to 12 minutes, letting the cheese melt and the broccoli finish cooking. And here is your finished dish. There are six to eight servings here. Not bad for a meal that's less than $5. This dish is loaded with yummy melty cheese and is pretty filling. My husband and daughter could not get enough of this meal. Next, we're making turkey tacos for $4.81. Add one pound of ground turkey to your pan and grind it up into smaller pieces, cooking on medium to low heat until browned. Be sure to strain any grease out of the pan. If you're interested in this nifty clip-on strainer, I'll be sure to link it in my description box below. To your pan, add half a cup of water and one package of your taco seasoning and mix together well. Now we're ready to put together our tacos. And if you have any lettuce, tomato, onion, or anything else already at home, you can add these to your tacos as well. Here are a few finished tacos. This meal makes six servings with lots of leftover tortillas, some of which we're using for another $5 meal. We're making quick and easy chicken pot pie for $4.81. We're using the other six ounces of our canned chicken from our casserole recipe, and we're adding it to a two quart dish. Add one 10 and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup, a drained 15 ounce can of peas. I really wanted peas and carrots, but Walmart was out. And add a 15 ounce drained can of diced potatoes, making sure to mix everything together well. Next, you're going to take your crescent rolls and you're going to smooth them out 
and make them all one solid piece. I apologize in advance for how messy the crescent rolls look in this 8x8 pan. I really wanted to use my rectangle casserole dish, but it's currently full of another $5 meal that we're finishing up. So I did the best that I could with this size pan. Really a rectangle size pan would work the best since the crescent rolls are a rectangle shape. But this will still taste delicious no matter what it looks like. Use a fork or knife to make vent holes and add this to an oven set at 350 preheated degrees. Make sure to cook until golden brown. And here is our finished pie. The crescent rolls make a buttery, flaky crust. You can also use pre-made pie crusts as well. Those work super well for making a homemade, quick and easy chicken pot pie. This recipe makes six to eight servings. I couldn't resist sharing my two-year-old who could not wait to eat this chicken pot pie. Our final meal is pasta and meat sauce with broccoli and cheesy garlic bread for $4.99. Preheat two pans on medium heat and add one pound of pork sausage, which you will separate and then brown in your pan. Halfway through browning, add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of onion powder and stir well. To your pan of boiling water, add the pasta shells from your box of macaroni and cheese. Add one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and then add one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of oregano and stir well. When your pasta has finished cooking through, be sure to drain it and then rinse. Next, we'll make cheesy garlic flatbread using leftover tortillas and cheese, as well as garlic powder and butter. Spread butter over the entire top of your tortilla, then sprinkle garlic powder, add your cheese, and broil in a toaster oven. We'll make cheese sauce for our broccoli using the leftover cheese packet from the mac and cheese. Add half to a three quarters of a cup of milk and whisk well. When your cheesy bread is finished cooking, be sure to use a pizza cutter and cut them into strips. Stir your pasta shells into your meat sauce to evenly cover the shells. And here is your finished meal. This recipe creates six to eight servings. It cost me a total of $20.10 to make these meals as shown. They all have at least six servings. Any of these recipes can be adapted and changed to suit your needs. This video was made to help anyone struggling to buy food as well as anyone trying to cut back on their food costs. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, stay safe and be well.